that. Makes it look productive out there. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot. Anybody have, their Christmas, cars? anybody have their no, Christmas tree up yet? It's coming. <laughs> Come on. So if nobody does though. Okay, the, on. the reason the reason we have this, I guess this weather is for those of you who put that Christmas tree up early. Uh, okay, can we all stand for the amazing. pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm already done. Not me. <laughs> me. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, let's start with uh, guys have a chance to look at the uh, minutes from the last meeting. I did. I also did. Make a motion we accept them as presented. I'll second. And yes, and the financial. Same thing. I'd, there wasn't anything. I don't have any out of questions ordinary. on it. Motion that we accept the financial. And I'll second. And yes. Christy, communications. Okay. The Portage County Board of Commissioners sent their resolution number 190656, adopting rules for illicit discharge, detection, elimination, construction, and post construction stormwater management. Um, the Portage County Health District did a inspection on the fire department and the tank needs to be pumped. All right, we can get that done. And that's all I have for communications. Randy. I have nothing. Ed. Nothing additional. Should I do this policy now or not? Or just wait? Probably after communications. Okay. Well, we're done with communications because I have none either. <laughs> However, I do have a credit card policy that we need to uh, adopt into our uh, copy. Will be here. It's just basically saying you have uh, the employees have 24 or 48 hours to turn the receipts in. You know, if you want reimbursed for something. So, um, credit card policy for 2019. I'm gonna make a motion. We we uh, adopt that. I'll second that. I'll vote yes. So you get 48 hours from the time you spend the money to turn in your receipt. Yep, if you don't, you ate it. Well, I'll be applying for my new fire department credit card pretty soon. <laughs> and and your new chief car? It, it'll have a big limit on it. We'll buy the chief car with the credit card thing. Very good. That way you get points. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's all I have at that point. Uh, I have tax, one tax and rate, too. Oh, yeah. so. That's the text and rates. Uh, yeah, we need to pass a resolution to adopt resolution to accept the amounts and rates as determined by the Portage County Budget Commission for the year beginning January 1st, 2020, and authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the Portage County Auditor. I'll make a motion we accept the tax and rate yeah. from the I'll county. I'll second. The figures are down underneath. What is? What'd you say, Nancy? The figures. Figure uh, how much okay. we're, what they say we're going to get in taxes. All right. Yeah. I vote yes. We have to sign this. No. 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 You just, that's just for you to look at and give. The okay. Final file. Okay. So we're good with all the communications, tax, and rate. We're going to fire department. We've had 433 <coughs> runs for the year. We've had 17 since the last meeting. Uh, I'd like to apply for a 50% match grant with the uh, Division of Forestry. Um, we could buy ATV, hose line, anything you find. So, from that. my thought on that, let's, get, let's figure out what you want to buy, the total cost of what you want to buy, and check with Nancy and Christy if that Make funds sure. are there. You mean like a side by side or something? Side by side, ATV. We, we need a we need a side by side. I think personally, we'd be responsible for fifty percent. That's, that's I mean, I yeah, right. If it's okay. twenty thousand or eighteen thousand, we'd be they responsible do 10, for that. Ten thousand, up to so, ten thousand. Yeah, it's only up the grants up to ten thousand. So our worst case scenario is five grand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's figure out, get your figures, and then we'll coincide with Christy and Nancy and see if the money's there. Okay. Sounds good there. Who's that? Uh, Not mine. 
I thought it was your light off coming in. Then that was our front light off. That was strange. Okay. They're coming okay. to get us. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Governor is snooping. All right, anything else? That's all you got? Um, Eddie? Oh, how about uh, what's going on in the road? The trucks are ready for the snow and ice if we get it. Uh, they don't have the salt spreaders on yet on the big truck because there's a funeral. We need the truck for that Wednesday. There's a funeral. But the other trucks are ready. The blades are all on the trucks, ready to go. So if it snows what we get, the guys will be out early in the morning. Fortnight. Okay, so as far as that goes, we we'll would talk about that uh, pusher box. Yeah, we have a tractor now that will that we can do stuff with. Uh, as I mentioned, that we'd like to buy a pusher box to put in front of that for parking lots and intersections and things like that. It's a lot more handy, a lot easier to use sometimes in the truck. The one we want is about $2,500. Can the road department afford that, Nancy? 25 to 3. Yeah, so in that area. I think it's going to come closer to 25, but it could be a little over 25. So I'd like to make a motion that we uh, pursue buying a pusher box for the front of that tractor. I'll second. And I will say yes. Other than that, that's all I have. Okay. Anybody have anything out? And they, all the nothing? Anybody? Do, we to, do we want to talk about that article front page of the paper at all tonight or not? Uh, well, yeah, we can briefly since we think you guys see this the, one. You got, I, I can't say a lot about it. Front page of Ravana paper. Portis County Solid Waste District, uh, the director Bill Steiner is going to, is getting a program going on where he wants, if you, we have curbside service, anybody has curbside service in, in the county, whether it be Streetsboro, Kent, Ravana, Aurora, wherever, Right now, one might be paying $5 a month, one might be paying $3.75, one might be paying $6.25. They want to standardize that. They want all the curbside to pay the same amount, which doesn't affect us one way or another. We're not curbside. We may be someday. I don't look for it, but we could. And on the same token, there's six or seven or eight townships that have drop-off recycling up here like we have right there. He wants to standardize the price for that. Uh, so each township is going to pay the same for that, whether we have four bins, whether we have six bins, or whether you have ten bins. The dollar amount that I've heard rumors of is $20 per year, a whole, per year, per developed household. Like if you have a house here, it costs you $20 for a whole year for recycling. That, well, that will not include vacant land? Only improved lots. So if you got a, you know, if you got 100 acres of farmland, you're only going to pay $20 for that whole, that whole deal because it's. I guess that's my question. If you have just, if you own five acres, no dwelling on it, that wouldn't be improved. It's not an improved. It's not an improved property, so, so you won't be won't assessed pay. for that okay. right there. Okay. Now this is something that the commissioners are working on. They've de they've declined to move forward with it at this time until they get more information from them and stuff. But there's an article on the front page of Ravana paper today, so that's going to be presented to us here in the next couple months. It will be nothing that we can do a lot about one way or another. It will be a decision the commissioners will make. So if you guys have questions, complaints, whatever, call your commissioners and tell them, yes, we really like that. No, we don't want that. We're more for $10 a year. Whatever your thought process on it is feel free to call the commissioners let them know because they're they're in a hold situation right now where they want information from residents okay so it's either going to be this let's say they come up with a dollar amount for curbside but let's say it's six dollars per month that's sixty dollars per year though this is now again this is a tax so yeah yeah okay yeah it does. so no i said 72 i said five dollars right you said six. Six. okay well Fine, 72 foot, whatever. <laughs> or let's just say it's $20 per year to keep the boxes. <laughs> There's your two choices. Keep the recycling boxes up there, not have curbside, and $20 would be assessed on your taxes versus having it drop curbside, whether you recycle or you don't. If you have a developed property, you're gonna pay whether $5 or $6 a month per month. That would be assessed to your tax. So there's your two kind of choices. To, Yep. That how I'm getting it, that's, how they're presenting it. That's the way the paper's presenting it, too. There'll be a lot of information coming forthcoming from this and meetings on it and all kinds of and stuff. And we don't get the vote on it. Just keep that in mind. This is going to be a decision made by the Portage County Commissioners. 
So whatever decision they make, it's going to be countywide. It's in the paper, but as a courtesy. Pretty yeah, much. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Not no Vaseline in town. I mean, some provided. Packages, whatever I, they're going to have to pay the same. I can tell you, one commissioner has already said, no matter what the cost is, we need to recycle. One commissioner is silent on it. The other commissioner has put a hold on it because she wants a whole hell of a lot more information than what she's been given. So that's that's where it's at in the commissioners right now. So this is two separate <coughs> issues. One's rubbish, one's recycling. No, no, this is both recycling. Either curbside recycling, okay. which you get the bins and you set your bins out, and da 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 da. That's yeah. it. Let's say, yeah. let's just say that's five dollars a month. Nothing to do with rubbish. No, no, no. no. That's no, just no. recycling. Okay. Or, or the bins that we have up in the, our recycling area. Mm -hmm. So there's your two choices. If you want curbside, it's going to be let's say five dollars a month, versus twenty dollars per year per household for to keep what we have. The dumpsters work just fine. <laughs> well, they, yeah. and one of the questions and, I have is right now we have four. So, okay, they do, the commissioners do decide to go with this. There'll be $10 every six months put on your property tax, if I understand correctly. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to pay $10, you might not recycle now, but maybe you're going to start. So are those things going to get dumped more often? Are we going to get more? Those are questions I have, because I just kind of found out about this today, too. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of questions we need to or know that you guys have. Or how many dumpsters will they provide us? Can we break it down with aluminum, da 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 da, da no. versus these people are just throwing everything no. in wherever well, they it want? Will, it will only be one, because the well, same truck picks everything up. So it'll only Yeah, be, personally. It, it, it's single stream recycling. There's no variance okay. on that. All right. Personally, I don't like the idea. <clears throat> But I'm going to go to the meetings and... Yeah, there'll be public meetings on it down the road. You guys know. In those public meetings, they'll make their decision from the public meetings. Yeah, we're going to do this or no, we're not going to do this. So It's pretty much another one of those taxation without representation. Yeah, kind of just trying I just thought I'd throw it out there. They're, they're, they're basically going to make that decision. For today, so I think it should be my, my yeah. view that they need to put that out to the vote. They need to put that on the ballot and let the communities, as far yeah. as a whole, as Portage, mm -hmm. Portage County versus just... Saying, you know what? Here it is. You're getting tax twenty. Do you still have to pay like the four hundred dollars or whatever then to have that? No. In no. No. They're taking it out of the control of the townships. All right. Anything so else? Just food for thought. Just think about it. Questions, whatever. Get a hold of me. Get a hold of commissioners. Whatever you want to do. For questions, complaints. Yeah, I really like this. Whatever it is, and we'll, situation, let them know so that they have some basis for the decision they make. And we and we will let you know when the meetings are, because I definitely want to go. Because that's yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, like we'll actually post the public meeting, the hearings on our sign okay. up there, and make sure that we tell as many people as we can when they are, so people can go. Yeah. So, good night. They have to hold three meetings for sure, and and one of them will be in the evening somewhere for people that work during the day. So one of the three at least will be in the evening somewhere. For people that work during the day. That's all I got. Okay. Anybody else? I'll make a motion we adjourn the meeting and pay our bills. Second. Yes. Sure.